Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about what is Azure Container Registry and followed by that, we will be creating a new container registry and in and also to upload those images or to push image to registry, we will be creating an Azure Linux VM and from that, we will install the Docker and uh, from the Docker, we will push the image to Azure Container Registry. So let's get started. So what is Azure Container Registry? So before that, as you know, Docker is an open source containerization platform and it enables developers to package the application into containers to the standardized executable components, combining the application source code with the operating system, libraries and dependencies required to run that code in any environment, right? So the same scenario, the containers like it simplifies the delivery of the distributed application and have become increasingly popular as organizations shift to cloud native development and hybrid multi-cloud environment. So the Azure Container Registry is Microsoft's own hosting platform for Docker images. Azure Container Registry is a private registry service for building, managing the container images and related artifacts. So as I said, we will be creating an Azure Container Registry instance in the Azure portal, and then we will use the Docker command to push the container image into the registry. And finally, we will pull and run the image from the registry. And also, as I said, Azure Container Registry is a multi-tenant service where the data endpoint storage accounts are managed by the registry service. And also, you can see there are many benefits for using Azure Container Registry such as load balancing, here you can see it, right? Load balancing and security and also automated image builds. So those are all the, some of the features we can use it for Azure Container Registry. Now let's get started. So I have already logged into the Azure portal. Now I am going to create a container registry. So, I'm going in here, container registries. I'm clicking on create. So I'm giving a name for it as container demo. Okay, uh, it needs to be an unique, so I am changing the name as Okay. Okay, it was accepted and I am giving the location as issue as itself and the SKU I am giving as basic. So I am keeping all the things as a default. So I am giving review and create. So once the validation has been passed, I am clicking on create. Let's wait for some couple of minutes to complete the deployment. Here you can see our container registry has been successfully created. So here you can see the login server, which will be uh, used in the upcoming uh, thing. Uh, I will show you how to use that. And here you can see the provision. And also if you click on access key, you will get the login server registration registry name, and you will get the username and password. So which will be used for, which we will be using it for the further things. And uh, the, here is the repository where all our images will be in here. So currently, uh, we are not seeing no results, so we will be pushing an image to the container registry. Post that here, you can be able to see the image or uh, here. And yeah, so now uh, we have created a container registry. So we are going to create a, a Linux VM where we will be using that VM to kind of a development environment where we will be pushing the images and those sort of things will be doing it from there. So I am going to create a basic Linux VM that is running in Ubuntu. 
So I am giving a virtual machine name. And the region I am giving a Central India. You can give any region with according to your thing. And here I am giving the image as Ubuntu 18.04. And the size I am giving as B2S. And I am giving the authentication type as username and password. So I have given the username and password and I'm also going to give HTTP port as well. So now I'm giving next disk and all the things are keeping as default. Let's see once the validation has been passed, we we'll click on create to, to launch the VM. So the deployment has been started. Let's wait for some couple of minutes to complete the deployment. So once the deployment has been completed, we will use any of the tools like Putty or SSH client to log in into this VM. How to log into this VM? We are we will be have we will be getting a public IP address for this VM via through that public IP. We will be logging into that. Here you can see uh, all the respective resources uh, to launch the VM it is being creating. So our VM is in the launching stage. So our VM has been successfully created. Here you can see our public IP. So through that public IP, we can we, we are going to access this specific Linux VM. So I am using Git Bash to log in into the my Linux VM. So I have successfully logged into this VM. So once you are logged into the Linux VM by using username and password. Now I am going to update the package index. How to do that? We can give that command sudo apt get update. So it will be uh, updating our index. The package index once it is updated. So here things has been done. Now we, we will insert the packages to allow uh, the APT to use the repository or HTTPS. By giving this command. So it will ask for yes or no. We are going to give yes. As you here, you can see these packages will be installing. So here you can see all these things are being setting up and uh, it is being done. And once the packages are being installed to use the HTTPS repository. Now let's add the Docker's official GPG key. So this will add the GPG key, official uh, Docker's official GPG key will be added to the uh, our apt package. Now we will set up a stable repository. So 
by running this command here the stable repository we are setting up and once that is done we will again update the package index once that is done so this is also done now we will install the docker So once our Docker has been installed into our system, we can push the image to the registry. So as the Docker has been installed into the Linux VM, we are Azure portal. Why? Because in the container registry, we need to get the username and password to get the from the Linux VM. We need to push it right. So we need to get the username and password from the container registry. So to do that, we need to go to access keys and we need to enable this admin user. So when you enable it, you will get the username and password. So via that, we will be connecting the Azure container registry from the Linux VM. So I'm just giving it enable. So you have got username and password. So once you get that, we will go to the Linux VM. So I have went to the Linux VM. Now we can login into the azure container registry how to do that we can run sudo docker login and given by the space we need to give the azure container registry login server name so i am giving the command sudo docker login and then we need to give here the azure container registry login server name so I am taking it from the Azure portal. So basically the login server name will be comes with the container registered name and followed by that you will have Azure CR.io. So when I click on it here, it will ask for the username and password. If you remember when I adding, when I enabling the admin user, it will give the username and password. So I am taking it from the portal. So this is the username and the password. So once uh, given the password, here you can see uh, a password will be shown unencrypted in the JSON file and the login has been successfully succeeded. And once that is done, we can run the Docker pull command to pull an existing public image. So I am taking an uh, a common uh, example it's a hello world so how to pull it sudo docker pull hello world so i'm just pulling it from the public image here you can see it has been digested and, it, and the status is downloaded a newer image for the hello world latest. So uh, now before we push this image to the registry, uh, we must tag this particular uh, image with the fully qualified name of our registry login server. So how to do that? We, we can use a simple command called sudo docker tag and the image name and followed by that we need to give the uh, Azure Container Registry login server name and then the tag name. So I am going to do that. So the login server name I have taken. So this is the command to tag it hello world and then the Azure Container Registry login server name. And then now I am just the tag has been added to it. And now we are finally good to push that image to the registry instance. So the same command sudo docker push. Azure container registry login server name.
So here it is being uh, from the local, it is pushing to Azure Container Registry. Here you can see it is being pushing. So it has been pushed. Here you can see the digest also. So now we have successfully pushed that image to the container registry. And after the pushing, after pushing this image to container registry, we can, we will remove that uh, hello world column V1 image from our local environment. Why we are doing that, we will be, we can run it from the container registry. We can try to run that particular thing into our local uh, thing. So first we will remove that uh, uh, local Docker environment. Same command sudo docker rmi. So it will remove it. So here you can see it has been untagged and uh, this is also been untagged. And once this is been done, we will that uh, our pushed image has been there in the container registry or not. So I am in the container registry and I am going to the repository. Now here you can see our public image that is hello world has been successfully came here. And also here you can see the digest ID and all those things here. You can easily see the information of that image also. Now we will go to our Linux VM and we will try to run the image from the registry. Okay. So, so this is the command to run it from the Azure Container Registry. So I am giving it here. It says unable to find the image, right? So it was not locally. It was not there. As we deleted or removed it. So what it is doing? It is pulling it from Hello World. That is from the container image. It is pulling and it have downloaded it. And uh, it says Hello uh, from Docker. The message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. And it says, uh, what are all the commands to run a Ubuntu container? So it is saying the commands to run. So successfully, uh, the image has been downloaded from Azure Container Registry. So in this video, we have successfully created an Azure Container Registry with Azure Portal. And we have pushed the container image and also pulled it and ran the image from the registry. Thanks for watching this video.